Hey guys, so today I'm going to be transforming into Yennefer from The Witcher series, which just recently came out on Netflix. Me and my boyfriend watched the entire series in pretty much, I think, two days, and it was so good. We were so into the whole series. I can't wait for season two, and if you have seen the series or if you're familiar with um, The Witcher in general, you'll know that Yennefer is a mage. She has magical powers. She's a witch, sort of, and she goes through a major transformation in the series. She starts off as kind of this ugly, unappreciated girl with um, some physical deformities, and then she transforms and she becomes a beautiful, powerful witch, and she basically takes over the entire village. As a makeup lover, her transformation was so like inspirational to me because I loved her look when she went through her transformation. She had a gorgeous green emerald smoky eye with loose big curls and she was in a gorgeous gown and she just completely owned it. She was absolutely gorgeous. So being the makeup lover that I am, I wanted to recreate that look and basically go through a whole transformation the same way she did. And side note, do you guys like my new glasses? Um, I have been suffering from really bad vision for pretty much as long as I can remember. So I finally got some glasses and I can see the world clearly and it's awesome. <laughs> I'm honestly in shock by how bad my vision was because I had never worn glasses before so I didn't know just how much I was missing out on this <laughs> but I'm going to take them off and we're going to get started with this transformation so if you want to see me transform into Yennefer from The Witcher then please keep watching and I will throw up some reference pictures for you just so you can see the look that I'm going for in case you are unfamiliar with The Witcher series. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply these hydrating gel eye masks. These will also help catch any fallout from the eyeshadow and give us a good guideline to shape our eyeshadow look. Then I'm applying some eyeshadow primer. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. Now going into the Essence Crystal Iced eyeshadow palette. I'm taking the shade Iced Coffee, which is a neutral brown shade, and applying that into the crease with a fluffy brush. This is the perfect palette for this look because it has everything that we need. Lots of neutral colors along with this black, which is the Black Ice shade. This shade was so perfect for this look because it is a black with some shimmer in it and you can't really tell on camera but there is some green flecks in this shadow so with the green smoky eye that we're going for this was the perfect shade to lay underneath everything. So I'm taking that on a flat eyeshadow brush and just packing that all over the lid. It's not a super intense black, so you do have to build this up a little bit. So I dipped back into the color a few times and packed it all over my lid. You do want to make sure that you're taking this black all the way into the outer V. And that's where those eye gel masks are really going to come in handy because you can just take it all the way to that outer edge and it'll give you a nice winged shape. So then we're going into Creamsicle, which is a chocolatey brown color. I'm going to use this to add some dimension into the crease and also blend out that black a little bit. You don't want to blend it too, too much uh, because this is an intense smoky eye, but just to give it a little bit more dimension and blend the color out a little bit. Now I'm going to dip into the color Snow Cone, which is a dark teal shade, and apply that into the crease as well. Now this color you won't notice too much in the final product, but what it's going to do is help blend the green shadows into the neutral shadows in the crease. So we're going to lay a green over top of this, and that teal shade is really going to help everything blend a little bit better and look more seamless. And I also touched up the black a little bit after applying the teal shade. And I'm giving that a nice little blend with the same brush that we used for the creamsicle shade. 
Then it's time for the green shadow, which is called Blizzard. I've been so excited to use this shadow. It is a gorgeous, true emerald green. It has a little bit of shimmer, but not too much. So it's technically a sequin shade, but I'm just taking this and packing it right on top of that black. The black is going to give this a really deep, smoky appearance, which is what we're going for in the look that Yennefer has. Her green eyeshadow is definitely my favorite part about her entire look, so this part was really fun for me, and I love how the green pops against that black shadow, and surrounded by all of the neutral shades, it really just brings all the attention to that green color. So I'm dipping back into that black ice shade and applying that into the outer V just to deepen up the look a little bit. You don't have to do this because her look was very intensely green, but I just wanted everything to be blended a little bit more and we are going to apply some green over top of it later. Now that we have all of those colors down, I'm just going to switch back and forth with my blending brush and do any sort of detail work that you need to do. Make sure your lines are nice and blended and we have the correct shape going on. Then I'm taking off the eye masks and that will show you the nice winged shape that we have. However, it is a little bit harsh, so I'm taking a more detailed brush and just using that to blend out that harsh edge. So now moving on to the face, we will come back to the eyes later. I'm just filling in my pores using the One Heck of a Blot Primer from Soap and Glory. Then for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Stick. And I really like this foundation because it looks really natural. It kind of just looks like your skin but better. So I'm applying that and blending it out with the foundation brush. This one is from Morphe. This foundation also works really well with a damp beauty sponge, in case you're wondering. And I know this shade is a little bit dark for me right now. Um, I normally don't have this much of my decolletage exposed, so that area has definitely gotten a little washed out just from you know, it being winter and not being in the sun as often. So I am going to take this down my neck and I'm going to apply a little bit on my chest as well. But before we do that, I am going to contour. Yennefer has a really chiseled out look. Even though she's very natural looking, she has very strong cheekbones and jaw lines. So I'm going to try and get as chiseled as possible. I'm using the same Maybelline Superstay foundation. I'm just using a much deeper shade. That way I can get a nice contour out of it. And I'm just applying this in the hollows of my cheekbones, below my jawline a little bit under my bottom lip and also up on the forehead and of course the nose contour. Now this can get a little bit tricky so if you're not comfortable with cream contouring you can definitely skip this step. My biggest tip with cream contour is to begin blending out your contour with you know any brush that you choose to blend it with but you want to switch back and forth between the tool that you're using for contour and the tool that you used for foundation. So you'll see I'm just giving it a quick blend with the contour brush, but then I'm going over it with the foundation brush. Then after blending with the foundation brush, you can of course go back into the contour brush and just do any detail work and make sure everything is nice and blended. To me, this is the easiest way to get a natural appearance or as natural as you can get with doing a cream contour. So now that we've blended out our contour, it's time to go in with concealer. And you always want to do your cream contour first before concealer. That way you know exactly where you want to highlight. And it also helps blend everything a little bit better with the cream contour. So I'm applying this in all of the highlight areas, which is under the eyes, on the bridge of the nose, um, a little bit on my forehead and on my chin. <music> Thank you. 
Now taking my Maybelline Fit Me powder, I'm going to use a big fluffy powder brush and just going to stamp that all over my face. This is my favorite part when doing a cream contour and highlight routine. When you add the powder, it just makes everything blend together. It kind of blurs everything and makes it look so much more natural because when you're in the process of cream contouring and highlighting, things can look a little bit crazy, but then powder comes in to save the day and everything just looks seamless and blended. Now dipping into my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, I'm taking that on an angled brush and just going over those contour areas. This is a very smooth, buttery formula, so it's going to help give it that blurred out appearance. And because it's an ashier sort of tone, it's going to give our contour a little bit more of a shadow-like appearance and not look so much like makeup if you know what I mean. So it's going to help it look a lot more natural overall, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. This is a really natural looking color. It's kind of a dusty rose sort of mauve shade. So it's going to look really natural and give you that flushed cheek look without looking too bright or overpowering. And I'm using this on a duo fiber brush to make sure it was nice and blended and not too intense. Oh my gosh, how many times can I say blended in one video? Seriously. So anyways, we're moving on to brows. I'm just brushing them out using a spoolie brush and then going in with this NYX uh, brow, what is it called? Brow pomade, that's the word I'm looking for. This is the NYX Tame and Frame ba Brow Pomade. Holy crap, I can't talk. Um, and I'm just filling in my brows and trying to make them a little bit thicker. Um, after looking back at the reference photos, her eyebrows, Yennefer's eyebrows are actually pretty uneven, so the fact that my eyebrows came out pretty uneven made me feel a little bit better because it matches with the look, even though it was uh, not intentional. Alright, going back to the eyes, I'm going into that iced coffee shade on a really teeny tiny brush and I'm going to apply that under my eyes. Now Yennefer really doesn't have much going on with her under eyes, there's just a kind of a slight shadow there. So, But after applying that neutral brown color under my eyes, I kind of felt like it needed just a little bit more. Even though that was true to how it looked in the series, I wanted everything to be a little bit more cohesive. So I dipped into that black ice shade and just applied that to the outer corners of my lower lash line and kind of connected it with the top half of the look. And I actually really like how it turned out. I think for my eye shape, it looked a lot more natural this way. So with all of the dark smoky colors going on on our eyes, I really needed to highlight that inner corner to open up my eyes, but I didn't want to apply anything shimmery because Yennefer really doesn't have any shimmer going on in her makeup look. So I took a matte highlighting powder. This one is from NYX. And I'll have all of the products listed down below, um, just so you know. I can't remember the name of the palette right now, but it will be listed down below if you are interested in it. But it's just a matte color. I mean, you could use a matte eyeshadow or any powder that you have that would work perfectly for this. So I just highlighted that inner corner and also underneath my brow. Then I just quickly blended that out so there was no harsh line between the crease shade and the highlighting powder. And then I went into mascara. So the mascara look that Yennefer had was actually pretty specific. She really didn't have curled lashes. She didn't have any liner. Um, she did definitely have some definition in her eyelashes, but it wasn't intense at all. And I actually really liked that. I loved how she had a 
bold, smoky eye, but the lashes really weren't too intense. And she didn't really have uh, mascara going on in the lower lash either, so I skipped uh, curling my lashes and I only applied a couple of coats of this mascara to really mimic the same look that Yennefer has. So I sprayed my eyeshadow brush with a little bit of finishing spray and then I dipped back into that emerald green. And you definitely do want to do this step before you apply mascara. I actually thought I was done with the eye look while I was applying mascara, but I decided the green needed to be just a little bit more intense. And in the end, I am really, really glad that I did this because I was just obsessed with how the green turned out, the way it pops against the smoky shadows, and then giving that intensity with the finishing spray really just brought the whole look together. So I love how it turned out. And then I gave it a quick blend with the black ice shade. So I wanted to add just a touch of highlight to my cheekbones. I wanted to go for the most subtle, natural looking shade that I own. So I went into the Anastasia contour palette and used the highlight shade in that palette. It's a really subtle sort of inner glow type of highlight. It's not really going to pop out at you, but it'll just give you that little bit of glow. All right, so for lips, I started off with the e.l.f. Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Nude Kiss. This was the perfect shade of nude I wanted for this look because it's very natural looking. However, I didn't expect this lip oil to be so glossy. I kind of thought it would be the type of lip oil that sinks into your lips and leaves a tint behind, but it was very glossy, so I just blotted it off a little bit and then tapped it in with my finger and it was still a little too shiny, so I went into the eyeshadow palette and grabbed a matte nude on my finger and just tapped that right over the lip color. And I actually ended up loving the way that this lip turned out in the end because it was just really natural looking. It almost looked like I didn't have anything on my lips at all, but it went perfectly with the bold smoky eye. And that is it for the makeup. So I'm just going to do my hair really quick. And we are done with this Yennefer of Vangerberg tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future. And that's about it. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.